So Ted, let's talk intellectual property because as we've heard earlier, I mean, the European Union has had a unitary intellectual property rights system. You apply once, you get a patent or trademark for the entire European Union. That's obviously going to change, or is it? I mean, what's the impact going to be? Well, actually, it, it's not going to change that much from where it is precisely now. And by that, I mean that the European Union has not imposed as much of a unitary system as they want to impose. They are trying to, they, there are proposals to put an even more unitary system and a unitary uh, patent court in, um, and those are on the table right now. But uh, at the moment, the current system is, from a patent standpoint, is probably gonna stay ab about the way it is this minute, um, even uh, as the Brexit uh, pushes off. I mean, I think the more concerning piece for American companies is the trademark side, because the trademark side has been more unitary, um, and then there's going to be a, a question, and I, I'm sure our, our uh, Bond Dickinson folks would say that this is one of those issues that we all know is just going to get worked out, um, that uh, the when you've applied for a full EU patent and Britain or UK steps off of that, that, that the UK piece of that is going to come with the UK. So in other words, you're not going to have to reapply in all likelihood um, for anything that you've gotten currently that is a unified EU trademark. However, um, we need to be planning for the point in time when, uh, when there's not, when Britain is not in the unitary system. And so that's one of the things that I think people are concerned with right now, whether we need to be filing separately in Britain for, from this point forward uh, to prepare for this, or whether you can just file the unitary uh, trademark piece right now. Because one of the big trademark issues for us is, uh, is the courts. 